Hello and welcome back to Let's Play By Mutant with me, Bring It Don. Let's go and level up before we do anything else. I am tempted to do luck, uh, just for the increased loot chance. I mean, the critical chance will help my build as well, but um, I don't know how what stats loot's going to affect, but maybe the loot will boost my strength, so it's actually more efficient to go the luck route for the loot to boost all my other stats. Um, so I'll probably do a couple levels of That's luck. An improvement. And let's see, let's do perks. And I think doing this early on might be worth it too. I was going to do mercenary and get mega mine, so key energy regen is increased by twenty percent. But I think getting this early on might be worthwhile. So we're going to grab this. I think that's a worthwhile investment early on in the game. Maybe. Again, I haven't found any loot besides uh, healing gear or healing items. It's high on the wall of the way, yeah. Agrees with you that the only way to get a fresh start is to set everything on fire. I appreciate that you took time for me. Says you'll see each other later. Cackles about how you and the Jagni tribe are going to strip every nest home clean together. I don't want to keep you any longer. Then if I says you. All right, kind of don't want to talk to every just random civilian. Mostly, like this guy looks like he might have something to say. It's information gathering. Some civilians have information about secret locations nearby. You can try to ask for the information, but it's not likely that they'll give it up unless you make use of some of your main attributes. The chances they'll give you up or they'll give up the information is then much higher. But if you fail the check, you will lose one one of your attribute points. Says there's an interesting place nearby that no one knows about. But doesn't really want to talk about it right now. Uh, I mean, we can try to persuade. Says there's no reason to let you in on where it is. Okay, no risk for this one. Yeah, it's about a one in three chance. Let's do this. I don't want to risk my strength because that's my main attribute, so I'll just spill it out, or else. Says there's no reason to make threats. Would have told you about it sooner or later. It's not far from here. Okay, where's it at? Oh, neat. What's that yellow? Oh, that's a fast travel point. It says they used to trade with an outpost in a bunker near the valley, but they've lost contact somehow. All right, I'm off. So, says you covered the important. Okay. It's a big book, and you're reading it. it looks like it's upside down. The way the paragraphs are sitting. Says there's an interesting place nearby that no one knows about. Okay, persuade. Not sure if you're likable enough to be let in on it. Well, I don't want to lose any stats, so I'm just going to do this. You better tell me before you forget. Says you look trustworthy. Might as well tell you where it is. Okay, either I'm getting really lucky or you just succeed in all these in the first fortress. Says it's good to meet a fellow Yin Jagni cousin. Keep hoarding things the way you should. Wouldn't be so. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna try and skip through like the, the gibberish. Because listening to dialogue twice when the first time it doesn't give us anything. I mean, I'll probably listen to like one line from each character just to hear their voice. My dad died there, Wonders if Lupa Lupin was the only thing that happened to ruin your life. Okay, I need to go. Don't seem surprised you have to go. Tells you to find the Ganote pen, and you'll find Nocco. And a whole lot of Ganotes. Right, that's all for now. Oh, so a sail, hold a sail. 
Squawks about Myriad wasting their time with shiny lights when they should be begging Jagni for darkness. Okay. Oh. Alright, let's persuade. Pretty good chance with strength. I'm not going to risk it, though. I'll just spill it out or else. Says there's no reason to make threat. All right, so literally the same dialogue as last time. So you are incentivized to talk to every civilian, even if they have nothing of note to say. Says it's a fine time to do things you don't want others to see. Bye. Sounds like a character from a Code War, a Nithorian. Every root of the tree is fixed in the earth, but for how long? All right, farewell. Has plenty to do, so no worries. Okay, so we checked that building already. What's in here? We found a resting place. You can restore your health and key energy or just pass the time. Well, your health regenerates each, uh, whenever you're done with combat, right? So do you really need to rest somewhere? Alright, let's go to the other side. Oh, anything up here? No. All these little health packs are going to come in very handy. Because I still don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Says it's good to meet a fellow Yin Jagni cousin. Keep hoarding things the way you should. Alright, talk to you later. Says you should take it easy. There's a lot more going on in the center of the fortress. Also, it did look like there was a, some sort of structure behind that waterfall. So we could check that out as well. Get as much loot as we can before we leave the fortress and sit out into the big bad world. I wonder if you can find these uh, secret areas without actually talking to the civilians. If you just throw in your exploration. Shudders to think about how a kid became such a ruined adult. Alright, so this is taking us somewhere. It's not necessarily outside of the fortress. We'll deal with that in a second. Let's finish. Oh, hello. Surprised you don't know Gizmo. Head down to the chug yard to find him. It's time for me to go. Wouldn't be surprised if you met again. Yeah, yeah. We've heard that one before. Also, I want to increase my loot chance because I really want my, uh, a two-handed weapon of some kind. All things end, but you can hang on a bit longer if we try. I'm off. Says you're welcome back. All right, persuade. Just spill it out or else. Says... Okay, we've heard all that before. We're finding a lot of locations that we probably would have found anyway, because it looks like it's right on our way. Heard you were a shy kid and is sorry to see you so warped. Now, I've got to go. Understands you have other places you need to go. 
You have to do the mind. Says Netra and Jagni are matched pretty well now. I've got to go. Down. Hopes to see you again soon. Mm, you can do. Says your toy bot looks like it needs lots of sparks. I think his hat's very effective. Doesn't really provide a lot of shade or protects him from inclement weather. Uh, I can't stay. Seems Okay, we've read all that before. Where does this take us? Alright, can't interact with the guy sawing, that makes sense. What about you? Persuade. You better tell me before you forget. Yeah, I think. Is it just guaranteed to succeed? Might as well tell you where it is. Figures others like you prefer to work under the cover of night. I don't want to keep you any longer. See. Alright, we've been up here and explored these. So back down to this little market area. I think these are merchants. The guy's little green things above their head. Peddler is eager for you to have a look at the wares. I, I want to trade. Says they're known for their high quality goods. All right, so each vendor is specialized in a particular type of items, melee, weapon parts, uh, range weapon parts, or gear parts, clothes, or mounts. When a vendor is browsing their stock, it can be a great way to find better parts for your gear if you're missing a specific part. Okay. Got it. All right, talks about money. Maybe get rid of some extra things? Alright, so I can't afford anything. I have zero money. <laughs> Alright, we'll hold off on that then. Peddler is eager for you to have a look at the wares. I'd like to barter. Hopes you're selling too. They're always looking to replenish their store. A backpack. I increases critical chance and loot chance. Okay. That's some neat looking stuff. But we'll worry about that once we get some money. Alright, a lot of this dialogue is inconsequential, so I am going to skip through a lot of it because there, there's a lot. Alright, so I don't really care for uh, range stuff. We'll probably just use whatever range stuff we find that we pick up. And I'll focus on crafting melee stuff until later on when we ha probably have a, you know, plenty of resources. Yeah, there's definitely something back there. What's over here? Sort of prison system, it looks like. Two-handed weapon. What do we got? It's my health pack. <laughs> Very large chest, and that's all it contained. Hey, incendiary module. Sweet. So I had some fire damage to our attacks. I'm gonna say we're done here. Probably not the most thorough exploration I could do. Uh, there might be times when I go back and explore areas again off camera and then just showcase whatever I find. Just to try and keep things moving forward a little bit. 
But I'm still trying to figure out the pacing for this uh, series. These open world games always take a little while to uh, pace out. The gatekeeper welcomes you back to the fort. Ah, uh, farewell. Didn't have much else to say, so no problem. I do like their armor. I don't like the face mask as much, but the rest of the armor looks pretty sweet. Alright, I guess we'll just head towards the uh, east a little ways. I don't really have an idea for like the pacing of loot. I'm assuming just it'll be in areas or like landmarks. It's this way. So we enter the Jagni Fort from the south. So like something like this might have loot, right? Finish this guy off real fast. There we go. I couldn't see him. <laughs> All right, nothing to it. Some energy, always welcome. And a health pack. Yeah, so yeah, your health regens pretty decently. Outside of combat, so I don't see where you'd ever need to uh, rest at a campfire. Let's make sure I didn't miss anything down this road before we entered the Jagni Fort, which we did through here. So yeah. Good to keep on moving forward. Yeah, there's loot like that scattered throughout the world. I doubt I'm going to find everything. And loot seems randomized as well, so I'm not going to fret about finding absolutely every single container. But I will explore everything that I come across, and I'll make sure to explore further than that as well. Because I don't like missing stuff. I really like the, uh, the brightness of the game. I don't see any loot here. So this whole way is cut off. That's fair. They want me to go to the east anyway, so. And the game runs surprisingly well. Like for a game this size and it looks as good as it does. Yeah, I'm not saying it's the best looking game in existence, but it does run very well. Which for a combat intensive game like this, that has to. <laughs> it's dependent on reaction times. I don't know if there's gonna be like a climbing puzzle here or Better beware, that's a mump up ahead. They were hit hard by evolution, the wonky ones especially. Deformed and unfurled. Oh, I didn't even see that. You're on the ropes. Alright, uh let's see. They mean to take both of those. Oh. 
Yo, you can't get up in time. That's rough. Through yourself, slowly but surely. It's been hard to melee this guy because I don't think we can parry his attacks, especially the shockwave attacks. That one in time. Okay, can't dodge through that attack. That's fine. Let's play a little safer. Let's actually go ahead and heal up. What a relief. What's he gonna do next? You might want to fall back. All fired. Alright, we'll just finish him off with range attacks. Oh, actually we can do this. There we go, nothing to it. So dainty. Some health regen. That's it. No equipment. Oh, that's disappointing. I don't know that there's... I don't see a chest up there. There's probably no reason to go up there yet. We're gonna go back a little ways because we did find that one bus stop on the way to the Jagney Fort. Let's see where are we at. So it's possible. So it wants us to go here, visit our childhood village. So maybe we'll just head in that direction before we go take out the uh, the Myriad tribe. I went the wrong way. <laughs> oh, here we go. There is loot around. Uh, let's be a little more thorough then. Well, these bodies don't look like they have anything. But this does. There we go. Time is lost on this place, but it evokes a tingling sensation. There's something special about it, drawing you closer. Yeah, the uh, the quest marker. <laughs> Let's see. I don't think we need to see. Or 
Where are my other fast travel points at? There's one there. There should be one here as well. Can I just click on this? Okay, I can. Got it. As time passes, memories fade. And sometimes feelings change. It's not about who you were. It's about who you'll become. This story is far from over. The flashback Echoes sequence. of a long lost past, like whispers in the wind. Here's someone who takes each day as it comes. Dudois? He asks how you are today. Uh, I can't complain. Now, why do I need to do? Then he wants you to know that if you find yourself going through bad times, you should just keep going. No, he wonders where you've been. He hopes you've been out at the lake, practicing your swimming technique. Uh, swimming. I'm into Wang Fu. <laughs> he understands Wang Fu is hard. That's why your Muma only has six disciples. Doing just one thing helps you get more done in less time. <laughs> he thinks you should really know how to swim by now. Uh, teach me. Is it now? Why not? There's no better time to do what needs to be done than right now. You swim in most waters, while in very deep water you will slowly lose key energy, and when you're out of key, you'll drown. He says that wasn't too bad, was it? Yeah, I need to keep at it. Way to go. Don't let the sound of the waves drown out your spirit. But you need practice. Lots of practice. I'll keep trying. Great things usually happen to those who never stop trying. He hopes you'll be one of them. You just need more time in the surf. That's the only way you'll ever learn how to swim. Alright, well, I'm not made for the surf. He knows that's not true. You've just made up your mind you're not. Judging by your Mooma's look, it seems you forgot something. Oh, looks like they... You promised you'd train with her before the sun goes down. It's time to go. So it looks like they do make it, uh, your Mooma look like you based off what character you make. Yeah, I've been looking forward to it. Amun. The dedication to training is important. You can't rely solely on the fact that Wang Fu is in your blood. Amun. You should know. Practice makes perfect. Yeah, I'll train harder. It's in there. As long as it doesn't kill you, it'll only make you stronger. Andro? Or paralyze She'll you from the waist the down. Village square. All right, see you there soon. Kala. She'll be waiting for you. There will be a surprise for you at the end, too. Well, I like surprises. Yes, he can't save in these, uh... Flashback. Another familiar face with lights on his mind. Asks how you're feeling today. Uh, found anything you can use? His only interest when creating is that what he comes up with is actually useful. He was hoping you could help him pick up some scrap for a thingamajig he's working on. Yeah, I don't mind picking up trash. He's happy to hear that from someone that's a part of the coming generation. You owe it to yourself to protect the environment. You should look for things that are recyclable. It shouldn't take you too long to find some. Upcycling. Okay. He wonders what usefulness you found. Uh, you're the expert. 
Sometimes he's an expert, but sometimes he just does what's right. Dog. He can walk. Whoops, they mean it's like that. <laughs> but that's his point. To take something useless, change it, and put it to good use again. Thank you. He'd love to teach you to upcycle, and the scrap you found would be a good start. Okay, crafting intro. Welcome to crafting. You modify existing weapons and armor. Create highly new weapons from scratch. Great pieces. You can craft new weapons. Start crafting a weapon. First, select the base. Okay. Um. Let's see, 4, 5, to 6, 56. Uh, let's see, higher minimum damage as well as the most max damage. Yeah, it looks like this is our best option here. So, Wrap Wrench. You did well, but he can't help but wonder why you decided to craft a weapon. Yeah, it's what I know how to make. He says you don't really need a weapon when you're born one. He understands, but hopes you won't be needing it anytime soon. So I wonder if uh, equipping this in the flashback will unlock the tainted weapon stuff in uh, the present. Yeah, I'll ask Mumma to teach me how to use it. He thinks mastering the six weapon styles of Wang Fu is more than enough for anyone. Why, why, not dark? He's looking forward to seeing what you'll make next. It seems you have a talent for this. It looks like she's starting to lose her patience. You know she doesn't like waiting for you. She wants to see you on the village square right away. Sorry I'm late. I was helping Gizmo. Gala. Then you've got a good excuse. You share a responsibility to prevent hardship on nature and the environment. It's your future. She wants you to grow up and start thinking for yourself. You really need to find yourself before she's gone. Gone. She won't live forever, you know that. But she intends to make the most of every day she gets, especially the ones you share together. You've always followed your own path, but this time she needs you to follow her. Yeah, I'll find a way there in the end. She worries about you. Sometimes you get lost in your own world, where the only thing that matters is you. My character looks very young, so I think that's okay. They look determined. Better watch out. He asks you to stop right there and wonders where you think you're going. I'm late for training. He says that it's not too late for you to turn back, though. There's no way they'll let you pass. He wants to know who you think you are. Yeah, no one needs to get hurt. You'll have to face pain at some point. He offers to help you get it over with. <laughs> okay. I thought I parried that. Guess not. Did I win? Oh, I didn't let me win that. Sanna, you're there. She asks if you're hurt. What happened? Yeah, we should invite them to train. She says it's nice of you to consider them, but they have weapon training at sunrise tomorrow, so they'll need all the rest they can get. The most important thing is that you're okay. 
It's time to focus on your training now. Yeah, I must get stronger than my excuses. You won't need excuses if you are strong in your conviction. All right, let's go train. Sad that I lost my weapon, though. Yeah, I thought it was weird. I was sitting there mashing X and wouldn't let me, uh... That little bar wasn't going up. I could not win that, which I don't agree with. I hate scripted losses like that. Here's someone close to heart, doing what he does best. Seeing you always puts a smile on your popsy's face. He wants to know how you're feeling. Something is wrong. He knows growing up is hard, and things will continue to go wrong as you become older and figure out how to make them right. He asks if you could help him too before you leave for training. If you tell Muma. <laughs> He'll talk to her, sure, but you know she wants you to accept responsibility for your own actions and future. He suggests you get going and find him gadgets and ideas for how you can upcycle some old fabrics. I really wish you could save during the sequence. I'm just gonna keep going until we're done with this flashback. So otherwise, I have to play through it all again. He's curious to see what you found. I'm not sure. He says whatever it is, it shouldn't be left forgotten at the bottom of a pile of recyclables. He can work wonders with pretty much anything and asks if you know how to upcycle. I'll get my hands dirty to find out. Cherry Lafia, Lemma, Goga. Says at least dirty hands are proof that you tried, and that counts. That you failed this time doesn't mean you can't succeed the next. He says it's about time you learned how, and offers to teach you, starting with the scrap you found. Okay, I'm loading up on add ons. It's be okay. Pretty straightforward, so add ons. Oh, is it like a bracer? Neat. So if I were to equip one, let's see, eight armor. You'll say eight's probably the best we're gonna get. So let's do, I like the way that one looks. This one that gave me 16. Yeah, let's go with that one. Twenty-five. Let's go ahead and slap that on. Thirty-two. Uh, let's say yeah, thirty-two is gonna be the best. Begging for a buck. The style might be too edgy for his taste, but it looks sharp on you. Yeah, I like it anti-fashioned. Why, Why not? <laughs> Agrees. At least that way it'll never go out of style. Why add You should take it with you. Wear it to practice. Yeah, I made it, so it's mine. He agrees that you need to keep some things to yourself, but in general, you should know that sharing is caring. He's looking forward to seeing what you'll make next. It seems you have a talent for this. All right. Not a fan of this whole tutorial design. But it's fine. Oh, that's a big guy. Your Muma says it's about time you got here. 
Better late than never. Says being on time would be better yet. She says she is eager to get started. You don't have much time left before the sun goes down. But there's enough time left for repetition and you need it. Training dummies don't hit back. I'm ready to do what it takes. Wants you to prove that with some practice first. Your Mooma says you did well today. She's so proud of you. Oh, thank you, Mooma. It's in Tede. Thanks you for being such a good student. Mustiki Mooka, Ruhemuk Tono. Been working on a present for you, with the help of Gizmo and Wiz. Dere, Anaro Lute. You should go see him and find out what it is. You've deserved it. I didn't expect that. Polakuto. That's why you should be sure to thank him for it. Your Mooma says she's never seen an apparatus as green as this little thing. It's wonderful. I wonder what it does. Figuring that out is half the fun. A piece of Scraptronics like this has built-in old-world tech that makes it a potent communication device. It's called an automaton, and it's hardwired to your DNA. It'll follow wherever you go and see whatever you see. Will record what happens to me? Says it's not a record keeper, more like a companion. Andro? Your Mooma says you look tired. No wonder. It's been a long day. Uh, true. It's getting... Well, yeah, you know what? I don't want it to end yet. Everything ends, both good and bad. Rest, and you'll find strength for tomorrow. Nothing could stop you from setting the world on fire. Your Mooma urges you to blaze a trail. A burnt kidling will learn to dread fire. That's just adding fuel to the flames. Let me dash right into the fire. <laughs> Give it a last burst and you'll make it. Oh, I should just pick us up and carry us with her. Your Mooma says this is it. The time has come. She must fight Lupa Lupin. This time there's no escape. She can hear him coming. This time? Lupa Lupin is a problem older than you. It's in Tede, Andro, Kanamunt. Whatever happens, you need to know she loves you. And everything she's done has been to protect you, your Popsy, and those she was chosen to lead. She tells you to stay back. This is her fight. It has nothing to do with you. History has finally caught up with her. Yeah, what history? It's in Tede, in Adabzunka. She had a life before you were born, you know. Darker and less fun. Here it comes, the past coming to hold the present. Oh. Oh, he stopped. I 
I supposed to run or am I supposed to help fight? I'm gonna run. Can't. I have to go help fight. Alright, let's go take him down. Okay, got me in the backswing. I guess I should just hang back, right? I don't have a way to heal, <laughs> so I need to... Uh, it'd be easier if I had my weapon still. Is she even doing damage? To yeah, she's doing a little bit of damage. through fire and water to make it out of here. Your Muma says you can make it if you believe in it. Where <laughs> she goes, you go. Blood is thicker than water. You're in deep surf. Don't make waves. The surf goes where it wants to go. It'll take you to the shore as long as you go with the flow. Alright, so I'm not in control here. Just long for the ride. Actually dying here, or am I being what? What was I supposed to do there? Oh, uh, what the heck? Oh, she's over here. I don't know if I'm gonna make it there in time. Come on. There we go. Just barely. <laughs> so I pressed B, but I don't think there's a way for me to. Oh, she's right there. Okay, I didn't see her to the left. <laughs> That's what happened. Death is not to be feared by one who has lived life with a pure heart. A part of her will live on in you. The creature is hungry for more. Nothing is going to stand in its way now. If a sacrifice is made for someone else, it's not lost, but passed on to the next. Life must go on. Real sacrifice comes from love and necessity when all other options are exhausted. The ultimate test of conscience is the willingness to give up anything to save what you truly care about. <laughs> what you do for yourself dies with you. What you do for your kin remains and makes you immortal in their memory. A 
As the moment fades and is lost, the only thing that remains is loneliness. It doesn't mean you'll forget your past. It simply means you need to move on. Where are we at? Did I trigger this? Alright, so that's where we were at. So there's one behind us. Let's activate that. Let's see. Oh. Alright, I'm gonna call it here. In the next episode, I think we're gonna go check out this area right here. Where's it at? Yeah, right there. And then I guess we can go to that village. Uh, I would like to go back and actually explore our village. So we'll probably fast travel there and see if there's any loot left behind. And uh, yeah, just continue forward. That flashback took a little longer than I expected. That's okay. I wish you could save during those so you could just, uh, you know, save and pick up there. But whatever. Either way, going to call it here. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next one.